What's up guys, welcome back to the Adventure Daily and in today's episode I kind of just wanted to go ahead and give you guys I guess some updates if you guys aren't aware of some of the reports that's been going around and also take a look at some of the possible rumors that we will be seeing for Avengers. Now, if you guys don't already know, we got E3 coming up. I believe that we will be seeing hopefully some new stuff june 13th regarding marvel avengers and right now a lot of the reports are saying that we will be seeing at least a trailer for my man black panther however 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 i've been seeing rumors talking about we actually will probably end up seeing gameplay for black panther so i'm hoping that we can actually see that as well I've also was uh, looking at some of my rumors that I will be showing you guys in a sec uh, regarding Black Panther and Spider-Man possibly coming out at the same time and also the Cosmic Cube also being released around the same time as Black Panther. So currently on our 2021 uh, content roadmap that we got what, about a month or two ago, we are finished with March. We did get all of this. Uh, we did get the um, Take Run Anomaly back in spring i guess um that wasn't that long ago though i think that was like what about last month if i'm not mistaken same with red room i did some videos on that and i did uh iron man's red room armor gameplay i believe last month as well so we still have the cosmic cube which is the new scientist supreme villain sector confront the unchecked power of the cosmic cube we then have the Wasteland Patrol still in the New War Zone mission type, patrol mode, and new war zones and assignments within the Wasteland region. And then the War for Wakanda. Yeah, you know, with that we're getting Black Panther, new hero outfits, power level, cap increase, new villains, new claw faction enemies, new story, new Wakandian jungle biome, and new outposts. And uh, here's some of the additional content that they were talking about as well, like multiplayer mega highs, outfits inspired by Marvel Cinematic Universe. And, you know, balance tuning and things of that nature. So, for the most part, I'm pretty positive that we will be seeing something regarding Black Panther this upcoming weekend. I'm hoping that we can actually see gameplay for Black Panther. I'm hoping they not just a trailer that we have been waiting a long time. Definitely let me know in the comment section if you guys do want to see some gameplay for Black Panther. However, I'm also thinking, and I saw this on Reddit too, which we'll be looking at in a bit. I have noticed that some people are talking about that we may end up seeing Thor's in or the, um, Captain America's or the other person. I think I think it was Cap. Yeah, his MCU skin on the weekend. Now, I'm hoping that we actually can get it during this week to get us hyped up for the you know Marvel Avengers presentation on the weekend. But I have been seeing some people that saying that we may actually get the first glimpse during that time so yeah 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 i guess <laughs> i guess we'll end up seeing but we do know that we will okay we're about 90 percent sure that we will be seeing something regarding black panther and possibly something with mcu skins this week either for cap or for thor so i'm ready i'm super pumped for that now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the reddit i was looking at let's post right here I thought that was good. I'm going to go ahead and read it for you guys. It's saying, what I expect from E3 Marvel's Avengers. We already know that we will be getting Black Panther info, but here are some other things I think we could get. Cosmic Cube is one of these in patrol mode because these released before Black Panther. Other thing I think is the Thor and Captain America MCU outfits. Okay, yeah, that was all kind of talking about. And our first look at the first Omega level threat with a release date. Yes, I do believe during this weekend e3 we will be seeing some release dates they better give us some release date they can't you know they can't just keep saying oh sometime in winter uh sometime sometime this year no we want some act you know like some exact dates and the same one other thing i would like to add is we might get our first glimpse of spider-man or even unseen missions and yeah i was hearing some stuff some rumors regarding possibly seeing spider-man this weekend either a trailer Either they're going to give us a trailer probably for Black Panther or they're going to give us some gameplay in a trailer for Black Panther and possibly just a small little snippet for Spider-Man. And I'm really hoping for that too. And look at, yeah, 
I think they'll show Spidey at some state of play. Oh, okay, yeah, I can see that too. I, I completely forgot. Spider-Man, unfortunately, will be a PlayStation exclusive. Hopefully, by that time, I have my PlayStation. So then I can go ahead and do some gameplay for you guys on that. It sucks that I can't do it on my Xbox or my PC. And uh, yeah, honestly, I think it's going to be a CG trailer for Black Panther. That what he's saying, I think we'll get nothing with substance. Just a trailer with some narrator talking marketing BS. I'm hoping we don't get no marketing BS. I'm really hoping, but knowing how this, how you devs are, ha ha, I wouldn't be too surprised. This guy, unfortunately, uh, this this is my take as well, especially the approach they take on the last conference showcase. Yeah, that's true. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can find any other good articles. Oh yeah, this one I thought was cool. Which Iron Man suit do you want in the game? I'm hoping that we will be able to see, you know, maybe some new Iron Man uh, possibly outfits or maybe some new outfits for some of the other characters during the E3, um, you know, presentation. Definitely let me know if you guys are looking for some cool new, you know, actually new outfits for, um, you know, our characters like Iron Man and different things like that. Let's see if there's any other good ones. I saw this one maybe will be announced soon. It'll be a great skin. Yeah, that would be a pretty cool skin. Let's go back to the top real quick to see if there's any other big thing. And again, in the comment section, definitely let me know what you expect to see during the E3 showcase for this game. Do you, think, do you guys think we'll be seeing some new stuff for Black Panther? Do you think we'll be seeing any type of glimpse for Spider-Man? Let me know. And also, too... Let me know when you think we'll finally, you know, get these MCU skins for Thor and Cap. And yeah, let's go ahead and take a quick look at this one real quick. Because um, yeah, I'm intrigued too to see what this was. So okay, what was the original plan? Hey guys, me again. I was just wondering here, does anyone here knows how was the original schedule? I bought this game on pre-order with the idea, okay, that Kate was supposed to come on October and Hot Guy on December. In reality, Kate arrived on December, if I'm not wrong, and Hot Guy on March. Okay, yep, yep, I pre-ordered the game too. Uh, actually, the reason I pre-ordered the game was just for this channel here. I, uh, when I heard about the game, I'm like, you know what, let me go ahead and try creating a brand new channel just for this game. I could have put this on my gaming channel. I have a whole gaming channel called Indigo Gaming Squad for over 50,000. But I made this exclusively for this game, and this game has been disappointing me, unfortunately. So I say, uh, this makes me think that with COVID and fires in California, just delayed the game three months, right? But there's a bunch of other stuff this game needs to improve. Not just smoky content, but some solid material we can play. I definitely agree there. With that in mind, my question is, in an ideal world, where this game has no delays and COVID never existed, are we supposed to receive this buggy game yet? I mean, without these superheroes' delays, this thousand bus cannot be just COVID home all the time, right? In other words, I guess without COVID, this game still would be a huge flop, don't you think? Now, before I even read the comments, I'm okay. I want to say the game will be a huge flop if you know COVID didn't happen last year with the California fires, but unfortunately, I don't think we would still even be that far. Um, you know, in the in the cycle, I don't think we would still even have Black Panther if we didn't have COVID. I don't think we would have Spider Man if we didn't have COVID still. So yeah, I think a lot of the big stuff we probably still wouldn't even have. We may would have gotten Hot Guy maybe 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 like a month or two quicker, but yeah, yeah, I don't think I don't think there would have been you know too much of a big difference. And uh, yeah, he's uh, I think so. Yeah, when they released the game, CD stated that they were surprised at all the bugs in the game and spent quite a few months solely focusing on reducing the bugs. And I read a comment from someone here yesterday who said that the game was 98% complete before they delayed it from January to September. So I believe we would have gotten the same game regardless, but we will be farther along the roadmap, maybe at War for Wakanda expansion just released, and we're in the second roadmap. I don't even think we would be on the second roadmap, low key. I'm just being straight up with you guys. Yeah, that is odd to me that the people that made the game are only aware of bugs that were in the game. It's like they completely skipped, <laughs> skipped past any quality assurance says. I agree. I got was scheduled for November, for November initially. Clone Labs were supposed to come out in early October. No date confirmed yet. Hmm. Super Aptoid. OLT was scheduled to drop at the same time that Kate initially October. After that, December. Spider-Man was scheduled for early 2021. That didn't happen. Black Panther was scheduled to come before him, so early 2021 too. That definitely didn't happen. Now they're saying what? Late 2021? Uh, look, 2.0 never had a date. Isn't it funny that they announced a gear work one month after the game came out? <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people are agreeing that yeah, we probably wouldn't even have gotten 
anything that would have been you know really good for the game uh <laughs> like black panther or spider-man anytime anytime early 2021 but yeah guys that's kind of just my thoughts on what i expect to see some of the rumors and also some of the reports that we will probably end up seeing for this e3 2021 definitely let me know guys what you guys think we will be seeing this e3 for marvel's adventures and i will be seeing you guys in the next video peace